In the last video, you learned how to place a new canvas, but what if you want to adjust a canvas that you've already created? This is where we can use parallel projection. For instance, let's say I like the way the clouds look, but I think they're too far away from the city. I want to push the clouds to be closer, but I don't want to change their appearance. Projection will preserve the appearance of my drawing from the original point of view, but I can change the depth of the canvas so it's closer or farther away. To do this, I'm going to select the canvas with the clouds, and I'm going to find a view that I like. In this case, I like the way the clouds look from this view. Now we can select the Parallel Projection tool. Note this is a similar tool but without the plus sign because this time we're not adding a new canvas, we're just adjusting the clouds canvas. Again, I'm in the same view that you saw before to place the original canvas. You can move around the preview here to find a helpful view or tap on these circles to move to some of the preset views. As I drag my finger up and down to push and pull the canvas, you can see that the clouds are getting larger and smaller. Again, this is because we're not just moving the clouds, we are projecting them to preserve their original appearance. Without projection, the clouds would appear smaller and smaller as they move farther away. When I tab confirm, you can see that my scene looks exactly the same. But when I go into viewing mode and look around, the canvas with the clouds is in a new position, closer to the city. As you can see, the original point of view is very important because projection will preserve the view that you start with when you enter the tool. So you always want to start from a view that you like. It's often helpful to save a bookmark of your original point of view so you can always return to it. If I projected the clouds from a view that I don't like, like this one, then it would preserve this view instead, and that's not what we want. Take some time to explore projection. Try moving the sun farther away or bringing the birds closer. This covers how to use parallel projection. In the next video, you will learn how to use the hinge tool to place new canvases at an angle.